So, I've been putting off this video for quite a while now, and I think it's about time I talk about this. Tricky Triangles is the game I work on since, uh, well, I'm a developer for of course I'm gonna work on it. And I like Tricky Triangles, I think it's really fun to work on. And there are so many problems with it at the moment that just make it not fun to develop for. I wish these problems would be fixed, and this is the reason why I'm making this video. I want these problems to be fixed, and... If they would be, then Trick or Triangles would definitely be in a better place right now. So, with that being said, here are the subcategories. Here are some of the categories that I'll put this video in. Dog's involvement for the game, the formal co-owner, developers, triangles, Tricky Triangles remaster, which is a subcategory to triangles, and the future of Tricky Triangles. And with that being said, here's my rant. Okay, let's start. Dog's involvement with the game. So, this is a very big deal. Dog is the owner for Tricky Triangles, but he doesn't actively work on the game. A huge problem I have with him is how he sometimes flat out ignores what I say to him for about, about Tricky Triangles and stuff. To be extremely honest, Dog is annoying to talk to. No offense. With bad communication comes bad teamwork, and with bad teamwork comes a disaster. All I want for Dog is to be more involved with the game and such. As I feel like he doesn't even care about the game anymore. Heck, the past three updates, not including TOT Remaster, um, it feels like he had no idea about what I was doing until I released the update. As we all know, the former co-owner, Pedro Lecce, left back in September. Because of this, this took a toll on Tricky Triangles. His exact statement was, and I quote, Dogman basically doesn't care about the game anymore. He only makes badges at this point, in my point of view. I'm demotivated, we don't have active curators, not a single dev is working on the game, and I'm going to move on from TT soon. The game is dead, we don't have any major updates, not many triangles are submitted anymore, and this is basically it. There's a low chance I'm coming back to TT soon. This is the exact thing I'm complaining about in Problem 1. The sad thing is, he showed many signs of quitting, and it's almost like no one even cared or noticed. Now this one is just flat out annoying to me. It feels like I'm the only developer that actively works on the freaking game. Heck, one of the developers don't even didn't even have Team Create for months. Virtually most developers don't even care anymore. I mean, some have real life problems like school and other events. Like, I can understand that, but others just don't work on the game anymore. They've moved on. They have moved on to, into their own projects or maybe flat out quit Roblox or like flat out just didn't want to develop for the game anymore. And that's frustrating. And there's people on the developer role that don't do anything for the game. They don't even freaking open Roblox Studio for it. I feel like I have to be the only one to work on it. Because half the time when I release these updates, it's me releasing them. It's me doing these updates. And I have to do everything myself. Maybe not for the scripting. I mean, I, I, I need someone else's help for that. I don't know how to script it yet. And I have to release these updates myself, and this can be kind of frustrating because what if I were to make a mistake? I look like an idiot now. So that's something I really do not like. I wish that more, we should have more developers that actually want to work on the game, and we should have developer apps. Now, as we all know, triangles are what make the game tricky triangles. And it's literally what the concept is. Triangles are a staple to the game. But the big issue is that not many people are making triangles. Look at the Christmas event. All wedges are made by the same two people. Kindred, or Kind Red, I don't know how to pronounce his freaking name. And not Nick. A lot of people don't make triangles, which makes stuff like Area 4 take a lot longer to come out. And even recently, I had to run a poll to see do people want a shorter Area 4, like 14 triangles instead of 16. Because if we were to wait for four more triangles, it might take another few months for those to come out and that's just uh, just frustrating because it shows that the game has died now this is a subcategory to uh f to point four but in my opinion tricky triangles remaster is one of the stupidest and useless updates to ever come to tricky triangles now if you don't know what this is this was a planned remaster for the entire game three areas in like Come on, the game hasn't even started and it's already freaking dead. There's no reason why it needed to exist in the first place. If triangles were made for this, it wastes time because at the moment we are desperate for triangles. Which 
if we were to spend time on Tricky Triangles Remaster, we, that time could have been spent on actually improving Tricky Triangles. Thankfully, I I hope, and I pray, and I just, I really, really hope that no one's working on, on TTR anymore, and I hope that is dead, because I do not, I do not approve of it. Now, for the future of Tricky Triangles. If all of these problems persist, the game will die even more. If we work together better, we can try to revive this game. But at the moment, this might never happen. I don't want the game to die, but with the problems, it's not fun to work on the game. I don't want to work on a game where it feels like you are the owner. It feels like you have to carry this game. I don't want to wor work on a game like that. All this goes back to Dog. Dog has two options. Better is communication, be active on the game, and actually be a decent owner. Uh, what I mean by that is just all of the above. Or you can just let the game die. Personally, I want the first option, but it's all Dog's decision. So, this is the end. Please, I forgot to mention this in the beginning, but please do not send hate to Dog or the develop or any developers in the developer role right now, because I they don't deserve hate, because that's not going to do anything. Like... Just don't send hate to them. This is just constructive criticism. I want these people to improve, you know, because we're humans and we can make mistakes sometimes. And if something's going on with their lives, then I can excuse that. I can accept that. But if they just don't want to work on the game, I can understand that. I just want this game to become better. But if Dog does not want to work on the game anymore, then he just has to be honest with himself. And if he doesn't want to work on it, then he doesn't have to work on it. I don't want this game to die, but right now, this is just my opinion. He can't just leave it like this. He has to do something to fix all of this. So he has two options that I chose for him, that I basically gave him. Well, we're going to have to see what his response is. Thank you for watching. Again, please do not send hate. I just don't want any hate, like any hate sent to any people. This That's the last thing I want. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Goodbye.